So some people have noticed the attention and the notoriety that non-boxers seem to be receiving for boxing matches when it comes to these YouTubers and when it comes to these uh, personalities and it comes to these ex-football players. They seem to be getting a lot of attention when it comes to these boxing matches and people have been noticing it and people have something to say about it. Now, me personally, I've always said this is not good for the sport. I said it years ago. I said it's bad. I say you need to watch out. You know, I said that you guys are playing with fire because they provide the masses something in a way that the average boxer doesn't. And this thing that they provide seems to be most important to the casual fan when it comes to fighting. You know, they care less about skill, craft and, you know, IQ and all that other stuff. And they just want to be uh, entertained from a uh, theatrical standpoint. So they have a little bit of an advantage over the boxers. And I've said this for a minute. I said it's not good for the sport and it doesn't bring more people to the sport because, like I said, they come in the sport and they leave right back out of it right after that match is done. They don't stay to stick around. And one of the reasons why they don't stay to stick around because they stay and stick around and hoping to see some competition and hoping to see something competitive and what they're slowly going to find out is boxing is nothing like that it doesn't give you the fight that you want and you're always longing for these fights that you'll never see on time or in time or they don't happen at all so it's a bad idea because you know these these youtubers these ex-football players they have more personality and they provide more of what the casual fan wants and likes in a fight this is why they get the attention that they do because at the end of the day they really don't care about your sweet science you know what i'm saying boxing is sold from a casual standpoint and one of the other people that noticed this is none other than errol spence errol spence don't understand how you guys can go out and support some people that is not even boxers you know what i'm saying he says for the most part this is trash like what is y'all doing i find this ironic and i find it funny Especially coming from somebody like Errol Spence, when he is the prime reason why he's seeing what he's seeing right now in boxing. Boxing fans are tired of not getting what they want. They're going to get their fix one way or another. They would preferably or prefer it to be the boxers, but since we have created this history in this new era of not fighting, it leaves no choice but to throw it in the hands of the YouTubers, the Jake Pauls, the Takashi 69 type crowd kind of people. And yes, eventually they will take over boxing because they come with built in numbers. And since boxing is a business, who you think they gonna roll with first? I told you, they won't be satisfied till you end up on the undercard of a YouTuber. They're only gonna keep these boxers around to pay sanctioning fees. You guys will be last in place, okay? Celebrities and people who can gain a crowd or gain so many um, subscribers or whatever, people like me will be on top, basically. You know, and people like Errol Spence may not like this, but you gotta understand that you help create this situation when you don't try to make the fight, you know? And I understand, a certain degree is your legal team and your, you know, people looking out for you and stuff like that. But this is the result. And this is the thing. What do you think is going to happen from here on out? It's going to get worse. You you have to know that it's going to get worse. See, they're building the niche right now. OK, not too long. You had KSI. Then you had Adrian Peterson just get knocked out and stuff like that. They're going to keep building this more. You know, tell Boxing will officially become a celebrity grudge match sport. It's already a sport that's not taken serious because look how dirty it is. Look how biased it is. Look how much up and downs they got. Look how much favoritism they play. Look how much colorism they play. Look how much they protect people. Look how much they build fighters. Look how many fake fights they give you. Look how look how they allow certain people to cheat and then, and then turn a blind eye to this person. Now, boxing is too messed up and it can't afford no element like this in boxing because these boxers will be out in the cold because all boxers ain't Adrian Broner. All boxers is not Tyson Fury. Those are just a handful of boxers. You know what I'm saying? And boxing don't have the stars, and the stars don't have the personality to keep interest up there in, in the sport that'll keep it competing with things like UFC and everything else. Because, yes, UFC, they don't got the money. You know? But they got the clout. They got the resumes. They got the entertainment factor. Now, I'm not with this YouTube shit, but... 
this is what I'm going to say. If we're going to do some merging shit, if we're going to do this clown show shit, let's pull in our neighbor. Okay? Because I know, and, and I know it's going to be a problem over at UFC, I know that them fighters are not getting paid like they need to get paid. I know a lot of them UFC champions are broke. Well, how about this? How about we do a cross-world type of entertainment factor? Because... MMA fighters is missing something over there and they're missing a the paycheck. Boxing fans is missing something over here and we're missing the entertainment factor. So if we get more boxers, I mean more MMA fighters to come over to boxing, people like Nate Diaz or whatever and stuff like that, they're, they're so conditioned to fight top competition and not take soft touch-up fights, they should be the perfect candidates for the people that we want to enter the sport because they'll have no problem of the best fighting the best because they're already acclimated to that in their sport. So I would love to see somebody like Nate Diaz. I would love to see Michael Venipage put up. Well, Michael Venipage has, has, has already been boxing. But it's a lot of it's a lot of MMA fighters that I would love to see in boxing and they could get a good check from it. I'd rather they get a good check from it than these people who have nothing to do with the sport and just using and abusing the sport, a quick in and out, you know what I'm saying? Ski man's bank job on boxing. You know, I would prefer that. MMA fighters versus boxers. At least they get a check and, and we get entertained. We can fill gaps together. It's better than selling out for this YouTube X basketball player ex-football player crap because at least it goes to another fighter to me that makes more sense if if you're going to do it like that but selling out boxing for youtube personalities and old washed up athletes and all that other stuff you know what i'm saying that's where the sport's going now because we have not been getting the fights and that's due to the result of example that's going on with errol spence and terrence bud crawford what are people saying right now People saying that PBC has waited too long. I'm hearing the words of over-marinated. I'm hearing the words of expired, spoiled milk, and stuff like that. I've, I'm already annoyed with Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. I've already talked about it more than I want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's kind of like, you ever watch TV, right? And then like a new movie comes out. Or let's say a new commercial for a product or something like that. But let's just say a movie or something comes out. And you see the commercial. And you keep watching TV and the commercial come on two and three more times. After a while, after you keep showing me that commercial back to back to back to back, I'm less likely to go see the movie. Cause I'm because you play the you play the damn commercial so much that it turns me off. You know what I'm saying? Like some movies, like they just play the shit out of the commercial, and I don't end up going to watch the movie because I'm irritated by that by the commercial. I was oversaturated with it. To the point I was not interested. That's the same thing with Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford with me. And I guess with a lot of other people. We tired of talking about it. We hate to have to make another video about it. Because what else can we say? We've been saying this shit for, for some years now. There's nothing else. We've been going off of, oh, I heard this. Oh, I heard that. Rumor is, rumor that. We tired of that shit. Because rumor is and rumor this, all that stuff is nothing but lies. Rumors on top of rumors, and we spreading and talking about rumors and stuff that doesn't even really exist. They haven't even got that far down the block. So we don't know what to say, but one thing's for sure. People like Errol Spence can't say nothing because you are part of the problem. Your team, your management, I ain't putting it all on you, but you and how y'all run business, this is part of the fucking problem. And, and this is the thing. Y'all get paid good to do bullshit. UFC fighters get paid bullshit and they be doing the shit that we would like to see y'all do. So if it is going to be some kind of cross business or something like that, I prefer that we lean towards other fighters. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's from a different league, a different kind of discipline or whatever, it's better than watching these clowns and these Jake Pauls and then... Man, we're not interested in half the boxing, half the boxing community. We don't know who your Jake Pauls, who your KSI. I still don't know who they are and what they're known for. Still. Because let's face it, the Jake Paul KSI world 
It's not part of the boxing world. Boxing people and pop and people who like the sport, we're a particular type of crowd. The people who watch boxing are not necessarily the people who watch Jake Paul. That's actually polar opposite of the people who actually watch the sport because they like the sport. We don't get into that kind of shit. So those are two different worlds and they can never really marry because half of us just watch boxing will never get caught watching no Jake Paul, KSI shit, any fucking way, whatever it is that they do. You know, so let's get somebody that's closer to us in nature and and, and, in interest and then we could do some business. But for right now, selling boxing out the way that they've been selling it out, of course, you guys are going to be a afterthought. And Errol Spence knows this. And especially for people like Errol Spence, because those are the type of boxers who don't have personality and people are not running to the TV screen to see what you're talking about or see what you're saying. Character is a very important aspect in the business of boxing. Whether these boxers want to believe it or not, live by it or not, Listen, you either get down or get pushed to the side. And as of right now, they're getting pushed to the side. That's all I got for now. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.